Matrix multiplications are pretty incredible. They give us video game graphics, they give us deep learning, but if we try and calculate them through brute force, they would take way too long. For example, let's see how many operations it takes to multiply two 3x3 matrices. We end up with 45 multiplies and adds in total. If we want to do anything useful with matrix multiplication, in the context of computer engineering, that is an unacceptable number. There has got to be a much faster way to get this done. This is where the systolic array comes in. The best way to understand how a systolic array works is to simply watch how it works. I will multiply the two matrices A and B together. Since we are multiplying the columns of B with the rows of A, I have labeled the elements of A in row major order and the elements of B in column major order. In order for systolic arrays to work, we must arrange the rows of A and the columns of B as shown by the arrows here. Now let's see how many time steps it takes to complete this operation. With the power of parallel processing, dynamic programming, and some geometry, we can dramatically shrink the amount of time steps needed to multiply these matrices down to 14. In the brute force method, we had to use every matrix element multiple times. But with this idea of sliding the rows and the columns of the matrices together, we only have to use each matrix element once. This sliding action has physical significance. This algorithm determines how the data is being dragged through the memory of your computer. Let's watch the algorithm one more time so that we have more time to think about it. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of computer engineering ingenuity that I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.